back with another video today I want to talk a little bit about uh, a new product that I bought for my truck it is a mountain bike tailgate pad and if you remember not long ago uh, I did a review on the Thule T2 Pro bike rack um, awesome bike rack uh, very expensive bike rack but to me one of the top ones that you can buy but at the same time that is a $600 uh, bike rack that can only hold two bikes very heavy duty very well made I actually never even used it. Whenever I'm traveling alone and I just have my mountain bike, I used to put it in my Forerunner and just go, just throw it in the back. So it wasn't no need of, you know, hauling that big thing around and uh, putting it on the um, on the hitch because first off, that thing is very very heavy. And so, um, but anyway, make the long story short, when I sold the Forerunner, I didn't think I needed that as much as I did a tailgate pad that could hold multiple bikes. Also, I was able to save a lot more money. Um, when it comes to that. So I did sell the Thule uh, for almost exactly what I paid for it. Um, I got a little bit of a discount for the buyer, but it was brand new, never used, and I couldn't return it. And so I went a cheaper route and bought a tailgate pad for the bed of my truck. And I went with the Race Face T2 tailgate pad. So I'm gonna show you guys what it looks like. And it is here, the Race Face t2 pad um if you have a tacoma or probably any other truck there are other reviews on this particular item on youtube i'm not sure why they didn't make the section that would supposed to bend a little bit wider or maybe just because it's new it's stiff it needs to just kind of you know um break in but I, I, yeah it's just kind of weird that they would make this a little bit smaller than the actual width of the tailgate i'm um, not saying that they unless they did a custom fit for every individual truck every truck tailgate is different some are wider some are slimmer but it seems like they would have made this a little bit longer because most tailgates are wider than this you know the Tacomas are a mid-size truck so a full-size truck I know for a fact they're longer they're actually wider than that so that's kind of interesting but not too bad I think once it breaks in it'll definitely fit the mold a little bit better again it's only being held by how many uh one two three four straps yeah, I said five earlier, but actually four straps hold this in. And this is the small version. I got the small um, version of this tailgate pad for a Tacoma. And I think the large definitely would have been too too big. Um, as far as bikes, it can hold one, two, three, four. Wait, one, two, three. Yeah, four, five. I'm sorry, I, I undid this one. Yeah, so five. You can hold up the five bikes. You have your cushioning on this side. You have your padding on this side as well. Take the centerpiece out. So if you want to have access to your uh, tailgate and back back camera, uh, you can do that. So this whole piece right here is just Velcro. You can just unsnap it out if you still want that um, want that piece on there. I actually think they only put this on there for protection for this bike once it's leaning over, so it won't hit the camera or anything like that. But uh, but yeah, um, these retail for 179. I think 180. Uh, I got it on sale for 120 and that's the price I've been seeing them at on a lot of sites I think even Amazon as well. So for 120 bucks, you know compared to a $620 item that I used to have I mean, talking about a $500 difference. So hey, and it can do just as good of a job hold more bikes um, And actually can be removed and taken off easily. I mean this thing probably weighs about five pounds maybe four pounds It's super super light and so very durable um, looks like it can easily be washed off as well to be cleaned and so uh, don't have a problem with that at all with the money that I saved for it yeah so the interesting thing is and again I haven't I didn't really tighten this down all the way I'm just trying to do a quick review um, but yeah I could see how five bikes could fit on this um, 
but really the most I would probably have max would be three. So what I would probably do would be one, two in the center, and then three on the end, that way to give it a little bit of space. I don't have five bikes, so um, really won't need it for that many, but I could hold up the three. And other than that, man, uh, so you gotta make sure it doesn't bend the, the mud guard. But um, other than that, yeah, looks like it's a, durable good pad you know these can be stolen easily only so, i mean basically all you have to do is uh undo the straps and then just pull it off so the inconvenience part of this tailgate tailgate pad is going to be taking it on and off every single time so even when i go to a trail i'm gonna have to take this off and put it inside the truck while i'm out on the trail um, i mean i could leave it on but you know people do steal these things so I seriously doubt if I will leave it on so that's the only inconvenience part and again you can see how this kind of lifts up in the back and again I haven't tightened it all the way I just try to do a quick install just for the video so I think once I tighten it a little bit more yeah you can see it looks a little bit better just by the, those full, few pulls but you can see how it's not level here um, it sticks up a little bit. I mean, it's not, I could care less about it because it's doing its job, but it's just weird why they didn't make it a little bit wider here to make it a more of a perfect fit because this just seems, this little piece right here just seems really slim in the center, but it's not too bad. Yeah, that's about it. So check out my other videos. If you're new to my channel, click that like button, definitely subscribe, and I will check you guys out on the next video. Peace.